given an integer array that's sorted in non-decreasing order. There is exactly one element that appears more than 25% of the time. Find that element. That's about today's video. Let's dive in. San Francisco Bay Area, or Silicon Valley. This is where my dream started. Hi everyone, this is Steve here. Today we're going through lead code problem 1287, element appearing more than 25% in solid array. Pretty uh, simple problem. Let's take a look. Given an integer array sorted in non-decreasing order, there is exactly one integer in the array that occurs more than 25% of the time. Return that integer. For example, given this array, uh, we can see apparently 6 appears a lot more times than the rest of the than the other numbers in this array. So we return six. Actually, we, we can count one, two, three, four. Six appears four times. And there is a total of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. There is a total of nine elements and four appears. Uh, six appears four times. Four divided by nine, that is 44 percent. So definitely more than 25 percent. That's why it's returning six. Very easy problem multiple ways to solve it. The easiest we can in use a hash map to basically count the frequency of every single integer. And then we'll just return the integer that has the max frequency, then it must be more than 25%. That's one way. Um, another way is that um, how can we make the max use of this sorted feature of this array, we can just do um, a linear scan, uh, we might we don't actually need to scan up to the very right end. We only need to scan up to the length of the um, the total size of the array minus minus a quarter of the length of the array, because we don't need to reach until the end of the array, the very last element of this sorted um, of this sorted array, because uh, we are asked to return the element that appears more than twenty five percent. Right, we we need to have at least the last quarter of this array for us to check um, the last possible position to find this element that appears more than twenty five percent is at the three quarter position, right, starting from the left end. I think that would be that be a very nice um, solution. It's going to uh, it's going to be O n time com uh, time complexity space complexity is just O one. There's we don't need any extra space. Or another approach is that we can um, really take the full advantage of the solid arrays that we can use. Bin uh, we can use binary search because this array is solid, and naturally, binary search comes into your mind, which is going to drastically improve the time complexity from O n from linear from linear time to log n time. Yeah, that's going to drastically improve time complexity. So, uh, but for this video, I'm just going to write the very simplest uh, uh, solution, which is the second one, not the first one, not the third one, but the second one, which is, we're just going to do a linear scan, O n time, we're starting from zero, go up to th three quarter um, position to check if at any point, if this position, a um, array i um, equals to array i plus quarter length, then we're just going to return that. Easy as, as that, time complexity is O n, space complexity is O one, that's it. Let's quickly implement that. For int i equals zero, i smaller than. Let me actually call it quarter array length divided by four. Uh, i smaller than array length minus quarter i plus plus. Because we need to have at least twenty five percent elements of the array to to meet the requirement of this problem. So we'll check if array i equals array i plus quarter rtr. We'll just return array i. That's the one that we found. Otherwise, we'll just return minus one. It's guaranteed to have an answer. That's it. Say, for example, we take a look at this array starting from here. This is a total of nine elements. Nine divided by four is two. So we'll go up until here, uh, 9 minus 2 is 7, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, yes, here. So we'll, we'll just check whenever we find the element that equals to i plus 2, 
say zero, this is zero compares to two, it's not equal. Uh, this one compares to plus two is six, not equal. This one plus two is six, two not equal to six. And this one plus two is this. This one compare, uh, equals to this already. It doesn't even need to match up to here. So we'll just return six. That's the algorithm. Let me hit submit and see. All right, accept it. Um, pretty quick, but I believe it's due to the size of the test cases is pretty small, I guess. Otherwise, it should not be 100% because binary, if we use binary search, it's going to be faster. And log in, this is still on time complexity. Just hit submit again and see. Huh, still 100%. Yeah, anyway, I, again, probably due to the size of the uh, test cases. Anyway, the, uh, this is um, a pretty simple, straightforward problem, um, labeled as easy, basically as a warm-up um, that came up during one of the contests, weekly contests, a couple of weeks ago. Yeah, that's it for this problem. Um, if you feel uh, you like this video, just do me a favor and tap that like button. That's going to help a lot with the YouTube algorithm. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel and tap that little bell notification so that each time when I publish a new video, you're not going to miss out on anything. Uh, that's it for today's video. I'll see you guys in the next one.